Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. With it being Valentine's Day, let's look at one of the most famous love stories of all time, that is Romeo and Juliet. Before we get started, I want to quickly bring up something that's really important in my mind to think about when you're talking about the story of Romeo and Juliet, and that is, at least in my mind, it's not actually a love story. It's a story of woe, a story about teenage love and how dangerous it can be if you don't allow the people around you to guide you. But it's also a story about the dangers of hatred and allowing your hatred to take over, not allowing you to see what's going on around you. So without further ado, let's jump in to my review of 2013's Romeo and Juliet. So let's just start out by just talking about the story. I, I read the play in high school. I watched this version of it multiple times. In this version, it stays true to the story and it keeps the dialogue, for the most part, true to what the play's dialogue was like. It's the story of two families, the Montagues and the Capulets. They're mortal enemies. And basically what happens is their two of their children meet each other at a ball and fall in love. And they go through with this plan to just get married, only to right after getting married, Romeo gets into a fight with Juliet's cousin and kills him. Thus he is banished from the kingdom. And the only way that Juliet knows how to deal with it is basically to fake her own death. But when Romeo figures out about this, he comes back and he kills himself, only in time to see her wake up and she realized that her actions just killed the love of her life so she kills herself too. It's a very tragic story about love and all that's what it's supposed to represent but in the same way I've heard other people talk about this before it also has this aspect of if you actually pay attention to them is it actually a story about love or is it a story about this is what happens with teenage love if it's not kept in check by people and they're just so afraid of what their families are going to think that they just don't tell anyone besides this priest. But for the most part, that's the story of Romeo and Juliet. So this version of it keeps tw true to the story and it does a really great job doing it. On that same note, for the most part, the acting is also really good in this movie. The actors do a great job with the emotion, because this is a Shakespeare play, so emotion is everything for a Shakespeare play. Actually, I've been in a couple plays before, so a little thing about plays is, with plays you have to overreact with your emotions. You have to be all in, you have to scream when you're sad, you have to fall to the ground in anger, you, like all this, you have to over emote because it's crowds of people who are not really close up to you while with a movie, or like this, it's all about my, like, while my hands can be here, most of the time you're not seeing my hands, except if you see at the bottom of the screen, but in the most part, you're seeing through my face. Everything has to be in my face with a movie. There is that aspect of it, but it does a great job with doing the face, but still bringing all that emotion that is in the play into this. So they do a great job with the acting. On the same point, the costumes are well done. It looks exactly like what you would see in a play of this. The costumes, the design of the sets, all this stuff is very accurate to the play. But one of my favorite parts about this, that when I first watched it, I was a little bit younger, so the love stuff didn't really get to me. Even now, again, it's not fully a love story in my mind, but the best part about it in my mind as like a 13 year old was the sword fighting. It's a movie about the Middle Ages. Of course, there's sword fighting in it. I, well, I already explained how Romeo kills Juliet's cousin. He didn't do it by shooting him in the head. He did it by killing him with a sword because you're dealing with Middle Ages. There's a whole sword, the sword fights. There's only a couple sword fights throughout the movie, but for the most part, all the sword fights were pretty well done in the way of when you're dealing with movie sword fights. I think the movie that in my mind that comes to mind the most of amazing sword fights is probably The Princess Bride, which I will be reviewing next week. But that movie is like, it's sword fighting. It's not accurate to how you actually sword fight. I, I took a class on sword fighting. The difference between film sh sword fighting and actual sword fighting, it's very fascinating. I'll try to see if I can find a video talking about it and leave it in the description. But it's a very fascinating concept about like sword fighting, the difference between sword fighting in movies versus in real life. The other big thing I want to bring up about this is that the casting is well done. The people who play for Romeo and Juliet, you can see that they have chemistry. The other characters, they like, 
They're all well casted. I recognize multiple people in this movie. I'm not going to name every single one of them off because this is not one of those really long reviews. Eventually down the line, hopefully one day I'll pu start putting out full link reviews where I'm like breaking down the movie and talking about it fully. Well, this is just a review, a quick movie night review of this. So the casting is really well done. The visuals are pretty well done. Again, it, it looks like how the play should look on screen in my mind. And for the most part, this is a well done version of it with some great action, some great acting in it. It has great cinematography. The story is well done. The costumes are well done. So like, uh, I would recommend if you guys in my mind, if you guys had to watch a version of Romeo and Juliet on the screen, I would recommend this. But the big thing I would say to get out of this as a negative is if you're going into this movie, in my mind at least, if you're going into this movie saying, I want to watch a love movie, I would say this is not a love movie. I'm not going to tell you how to parent, but I would recommend making sure to explain to your kids about how this is not what really love is like. It is not just all emotion, it's also like, there's more to it. This is not love, this is more of like lust, where they're just very quickly passionate about each other, get married, and then, oh, they, I can't have the person die. It's supposed to be represented as love, but in the same way, I almost feel like Shakespeare knew what he was doing when he made this to make it also a story of like, yeah, but this is not actually how love works. Which is a big thing about, you have to remember about movies too, is just, there's always sometimes over-exaggeration with movies on what love is like. So I would say, for the most part, this is a good movie. If you want to watch it on Valentine's Day, yeah, go watch it on Valentine's Day. It's a well-done movie. I'll leave in the description a place where you can watch it. For the most part, it's a well-done movie, but it's definitely not what I would consider to be a love story. So guys, tell me, have you guys watched Romeo and Juliet? What's your thoughts about this movie? Do you think some other versions of Romeo and Juliet are better? Please comment down below any other movies you really want to see me review. I would recommend checking out my video where I break down every single month and what we type of movies I'm putting down in there because then you can better understand what movies you'll be seeing in this month versus in July. So guys, thank you guys for watching. If you guys like this video, please consider subscribing and giving it a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, well, you can feel free to dislike it if you want. I'm not going to recommend that, but if you want to, you can. Thank you guys for watching. This has been the Movie Night Reviewer, Peter Weary, signing off.